What's up, y'all? This is Brandon. Uh, they call me Legacy, and uh, I want to share with you my story about how I came to Christ and uh, also how I came to Christ. Um, I was born in Buffalo, New York, and uh, I lived up there until I was 14 years old. Um, I come from kind of a chaotic home. Um, both of my parents were divorced previously before I got uh, before I was born, <laughs> and um, I have an older brother and a younger sister. And so there's lots of turmoil. My my um, father was an alcoholic for several years, a number of years actually, and a Vietnam vet. And uh, so there was always some uh, strife through that, a very interesting dynamic. And um, so as, as the economy uh, went down up in Buffalo, um, my father began to look for uh, opportunities to start fresh. And so we sold our house. And uh, when I was 14, um, my family, we all moved down to uh, the Tampa Bay area. We first were in town and country for a little bit, and then we ended up in Brooksville. And um, so Brooksville was a place that uh, I was for a while, and I actually experienced quite a, a culture shock uh, coming from the north. And uh, the weather, the season changes, um, a lot more cultural diversity, uh, although Buffalo was considered one of the more uh, racially divided cities in the north. Uh, I still had a lot of exposure um, to a lot of different cultures and ethnicities. And so we moved to Brooksville and it was basically like black and white and you hung out with who you hung out with and that was uh, some some uh, challenging times and um, I was really starting to like seek God before I left. And uh, when I moved there I felt really isolated and, and kind of alone and, and uh, didn't really have a lot of friends and so I kind of... Um, uh, became very introverted in a lot of ways. Uh, about six months into it, I finally made, met some friends and started hanging out. And, uh, you know, the, they were partying and things of that nature, and I really wasn't into it. But um, with some peer pressure and whatnot, I really wanted to fit in. I started drinking and smoking weed and, and doing a lot of different things and partying. And um, so I, I never was a thug or a gangster, and I never would claim or anything like that. But, uh, but I really made a lot of choices. Um, due to those circumstances. And so I found myself failing eighth grade, uh, failed ninth grade twice. I was always skipping school, getting into fights, getting kicked out of school, uh, very rebellious and started getting uh, very angry towards my parents and, and I was really, really um, just going nowhere and uh, became suicidal. And uh, so one night I was out partying and um, you know, the Lord just touched me. You know, I knew that there was a purpose and a plan for my life, and I knew that God was real. I believed that that God was real, the Bible was real, and that uh, Jesus Christ, you know, was the only way. And I said all these things, but the life that I lived denied that. The life that I was living denied that He was real and that He was the Lord. And, um, you know, I had an experience that um, I would consider very radical, and I would also consider very real and authentic. You know where I where I saw my life, and I wanted it to um, have an eternal impact. You know, I realized my name Legacy. People think that I'm, you know, it means something. But at this point, I realized my life meant very little, and that if I was to die, people would remember me for the person that I was, not the person that I wanted to be. And um, like I said, I knew God had a plan for my life, so I called out to Him and I said, God, whatever it is that you have for my life, whatever you want, I. You know, I repent of my sin. I know I need you. And I knew this at a very young age, and so I'll do whatever you want. And I committed myself to Christ. I committed myself to reading his word, following him, and, you know, trying to be the best, you know, Christian that I could possibly be. And started going to church and uh, began to learn the Bible and, and these things. And eventually went to Bible college and um, be, be, uh, became involved in ministry, urban ministry. And uh, while I was there, I, I was doing some research on urban ministries and the unique um, uh, dynamics of doing hip hop in ministry and so I came across uh, an article about crossover in a magazine called Charisma and in it it, it uh, described what Pastor Tommy Colonna was doing at crossover when he was a youth pastor and um, so when I graduated I came and I visited and uh, Pastor Tommy invited me to become a part of crossover and to intern and learn about it and so I spent several years here just learning and just doing and, and just trying to be involved and you know, I made a lot of bumps and bruises and mistakes along the way, man, but uh, but I learned a lot of stuff about ministry. And um, all that being said, man, 
you know, I also met my wife here. My wife Pam, I met her at Crossover, and um, she was also called to ministry, and she was doing urban ministry, and we got together, and um, God brought us together. And it's one thing that I can say about Crossover is that God used Crossover in my life um, to bring me my wife, uh, my better half, and uh, that may or may not be for you. But uh, at the same point in time, you know, I'm, I'm, um, I'm just grateful for being here and I'm looking forward to uh, whatever it is that God has. You know, the church is growing and moving and um, things are happening and people are, people are beginning to realize how, how good God is. And uh, that's all I could share is, man, God's a good God and um, he's got plans for us. Uh, and they're not plans to harm us or, or to destroy us, even though we go through things. And it hasn't been easy, but I've learned to, um, to just 